Hello everybody, um, welcome, this is my first ever video on YouTube, um, my name is Joe, um, football manager addict to put it lightly, um, and the theme of this YouTube channel is going to be completely football manager where I'll be taking um, single team, um, doing one season challenges as such and then dependent on how they go, um, we will either continue them or uh, break off and start a new series. Um, for the first one, um, I'm going to be choosing Feyenoord. Um, due to them recently losing uh, a large quantity of their first team players, uh, Stefan De Vrij, uh, Daryl Janma, um, Bruno Martins Indy, um, etc. etc. Plus they have a, a large amount of exciting young talent as well as extremely good um, youth facilities. And there we go, Feyenoord have been selected. Um, just got a couple of the formalities to complete now. Um, having a little look through the team, seeing what the uh, the ability level is. Um, having a little chat with the board, as as usual, uh, with Dick Van Well. Great name, superb name. Um, let's crack on, eh? Um, what I possibly may do is go along with all this sort of set up chat and then cut back to you when it's all done right um i've met dick van well um had a little look at the squad gone through the under 21 squad i said um as you can see Jordi classy being the absolutely outstanding uh player within the team um already at a four and a half star current ability according to our assistant manager and um, he has also got four and a half star potential this is going to be a recurring theme um, now managing in Holland and that is my inability to pronounce the players names um, it's it's going to be a challenge but uh, one that I look forward to uh, just as much as I look forward to taking on the team and uh, qualifying for the Champions League in this save I was slightly disappointed um, at the transfer budget we've been offered. Um, taking into consideration some of the fees in which Feyenoord received for their sort of famous four who have recently left the club, um, I was expecting around seven million. Um, but that's obviously not the case. We've got just just below one and a half million instead, um, and we've also only got two hundred and thirty one pounds worth of wage budget left which as mentioned is relatively disappointing anyway guys um, just a little bit about myself really um, I'm 18 years old uh, my name is Joe as you could probably have guessed already um, I'm new to the whole YouTube sort of scene um, I've been following a YouTuber called Work The Space for quite a, a long time well I've been subscribed to him for quite a long time and I've always had the sort of intention to take up a, a bit of YouTubing as a as a hobby, um, as I do do quite a lot of gaming, and I have got a purpose-built uh, gaming PC as well as my Xbox, so it's something that I've always been interested in. Um, something that's took a bit of a bit of balls for me really to to get into, because talking to yourself isn't easy, especially when you've got old parents who probably don't quite know what you're doing and just think you're sitting in your room talking to yourself. Um, but again, it's just one of the one of the many challenges I look forward to, um, as well as in this save and in YouTube in general. Um, if I do go on to the Feyenoord overview, which is something that I did I did pick up on, um, it does show you some of the key employees, some of the previous players. So Stefan De Vrij, he's still under the captain. Um, as I am running a, a transfer updated save. Um, who has now moved to Lazio. Um, another one of those being Graziano Pelle, who has followed Ronald Koeman to Southampton. Um, extremely good striker who will be sorely missed for Feyenoord, I imagine. Um, but another one, Jordi Classy, as we've we've previously spoke about, someone we are going to be able to keep at the club. Just having a little look at the transfer market, Landry Ing Inguemo, possibly. Um, considered a four and a half star ability player someone I'm extremely interested in 
uh, or strengthening the midfield is always a good idea when your best defensive midfielder is possibly going to be my starting central midfielder um, if I was to take on the tactic of the 4-5-1 aka 4-3-3 uh, that is already in use at Feyenoord. Um, another formation of which I'm interested in is the 4-2-3-1 um, an extremely good formation on football manager as well as just in real life in general um, and finally um, my more reserved tactic is going to be the 4-1-4-1 just going to release the inner Pep Guardiola inside of me and uh, if only I had Philip Lahm to play as the anchor man um, but you know Jordi Classy he's not, he's not a bad player if he is going to be playing there if we can't pick up a new defensive midfielder um, there's one thing I have realised starting to do this this whole YouTube thing, and that is I tend to go off topic quite a lot. Um, something that will improve over time, as well as my commentaries in general, um, as well as my equipment, as currently I am using my Turtle Beach mic, which isn't the best at all, as you can probably tell. Um, I am going to be getting a blue snowball, possibly, I think that's what it's called. Um, which will help quite a lot. Um, I know they're quite popular in, in the YouTube community as a, as a budget starting microphone. So that's something to look forward to. Um, but in terms of the, the series, how it's going to run, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try and cut out the boring bits, um, sort of the, the transfer negotiations and then bring you updates every so often so possibly every five games um, and then on the episode I'll go through the updates of, that I've recently done and um, possibly go through a couple of games dependent on how long that takes as I don't want the episodes to be sort of any more than 25 minutes um, just purely for your time really I, I'm already wasting it up and as it is rambling on about rubbish that I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum as I appreciate a lot of people probably don't want to listen to my brummy accent for an exposed period of time. Right, um, take a bit of an evaluation of the squad on the team report. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my assistant manager's uh, judging player ability so that I'm actually getting quite a good um, report instead of just basing it on a bit of a dodge one. Okay, it's not great. 11. Um, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is a bit of a legend um, and he's, he's a manager I don't really want to sack because I don't want to already create enemies at the club so what I might do is have a little look at his stats and see if there's any possible way to, to change his position possibly um, I mean his man management is half decent but his coaching in general isn't that great um, if there's one one thing that I do like to, to go for in an assistant manager and that's the judging player ability um, just purely so I know that the the reports that I'm getting on this this squad screen here um, is relatively accurate um, I know you can make your own judgment dependent on how a player is playing or um, their actual stats but just out of pure ease um, it's nice to be able to just flick onto this page um, see a player's ability and then play them dependent on that. Um, Cornelius Yol, um, an assistant manager I have had in the past on previous saves. Uh, Raperto Lowers, right. Um, I'm going to take away the assistant manager and try and pick up a pl uh, well, a staff member who isn't actually determined as an assistant manager who could possibly do the job. Um, tactical knowledge and judging player ability relatively high but if I can knock that down to about 14 um, okay this guy here Paulo Carnero uh, director of football Brazilian 62 year old has got 18 judging player ability um, as well as 15 adaptation which could be quite interesting as well as this man here Franco Tancredi um, who's got incredible um, coaching stats as well as um, a good judging player ability something that I'm extremely interested in um, he's got a slight interest in an assistant manager however his wage looks slightly out of our, our sort of budget and uh, Paulo Carnero who's a definite no as well as uh, with a 12k 
um, wage which is probably higher than a lot of our players um, so what I'm going to do is for the next next episode hopefully we've got an assistant manager in there's no rush for it really um, because a lot of the scouts will be doing the, the sort of judging on the players that I will be bringing in so therefore I'll already have an idea um, on what they're going to be like before they're even sort of playing for me um, I realise this has been a quite a rambling episode and there hasn't been much action um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward to this friendly um, prepare the team go ahead and start setting up my training um, play through the friendly see where we are in terms of episode length and then go from there um, if we are already hitting the sort of 20 minute mark um, then I'll go ahead and cut it and I'll go straight on to creating the next episode um, however if we're still quite sure I'll take in a couple more uh, friendlies because we have got a few lined up against some interesting opponents um, balance very high right I'm gonna go fitness to start with um, as we're quite a while away anyway from the start of the season um, we've got another month almost uh, so we'll wait until then um, but anyway as mentioned I'm gonna cut forward to the friendly and I'll catch you in a second right um, alright lads at this point the daft twat I am I decided to mute my mic to speak to my mum and forgot to unmute it again for the whole of the first half so you haven't got any sound at this point so I decided not to include any video um, what, I wa what I will do um, is I'm going to go through the goals anyway next episode um, when I kind of review it um, and then you'll see them then they weren't amazing goals anyway um, and we have got some sound for a lot of the second half and the rest of the episode it was just that small bit of recording that I forgot to unmute my mic as a daft twat I am. Of the similar sort of nature. Um, a well rounded physically player, just someone who slightly needs to work on his uh, technical ability. But at such a young age, it's something that we can definitely nurture at the club um, and turn him into the sort of player that he's, he's intended to be uh, with, his, with his potential. Um, I think there might be an, a need for a striker um, on this save as Elvis Manu as good as he's starting to look as a young man uh, with potential I don't think he's going to be the man to fire us into the Champions League on a consistent basis uh, someone who's a bit of a, a wily old fox possibly uh, he's been around a bit he's got a bit of, bit of proven ability uh, rather than just relying on the the youth aspect. Um, right now I'm just going to start looking at some changes. It's the 55th minute and it is the first pre-season friendly so I don't really want to run the players into the ground um, as it's very early days. Um, okay, bar. Uh, deep lying forward. Um, it's not good dribble. I'm going to try him out as a trek artista I believe and see how he does for a few minutes. Um, go on the alarm, he can go into a left back, um, Botius, uh, left wing, um, Goosens, um, he can stand the bench for now, uh, there's no real need for him on the pitch, um, Rook, he can go there, um, no, that is a name, a name to be afraid of. <laughs> Um, possibly looking at replacing the centre back partnership there. So go Van Beek and Budaroos. Um The wingers have been replaced. It's literally the right back and the central midfielders um, who might be running on low. We'll we'll try that as it is though. They've still got a relative amount of fitness. Uh, something we could probably look at next game, making sure we've got a bit more sort of competition and uh oh and Torhe have just gone close um possibly deflected wide or a save um but nonetheless their first shot of the game um 18 from us eight on target was 61% possession um the pass accuracy is 84% as well which is 
extremely impressive. I know I know we can say that Torhout are a semi professional side who had about sixty five percent average fitness throughout the team. Um but then again you can only beat what's in front of you and it is the first game of uh playing season. Um nonetheless it is a friendly as mentioned, but still, uh still a game. It's one that we have to win. And it has just been put wide. Um slotted in brilliantly um in down the back of the defence sort of getting around the back Wilkshire um putting it over that's a name I can say. Um if only they were all that simple. Uh I will be spending a bit of my spare time reading up on the phonetics of how to pronounce some of these Dutch names. Um Botius three nil. Um Good work from Verhoek down the right hand side, pings it back to the far post. Bit of a scrap in the middle and just falls to the man free at the back who just drills it home. And that man has just picked up a knock, uh, Botius. So we'll bring on Goosens and for a straight, straight swap and just hope that Botius is nothing more than a knock. Um, a player I'm extremely excited to use. Um, Four and a half star potential. Extremely good finish from Jordi Classy, uh, rounding up a good move. Some patient build-up play around the sort of the right-hand side of the box. And it's pulled back by him as and Classy just leathers through the ball into the far top corner. Extremely good goal from the young man, who I believe is our captain. Um, And it is nearly up. Probably should be up after this kick. And there you go, 4-0. Um, easy win, really. Uh, I've had some good stuff. Uh, very pleased with the and the opponent. A good workout. Um, a ton of shots, as well as a ton of possession. Uh, Torino will be a different game altogether. And central midfielder. Um, has spent most if not all of his career at AC Milan, a bit of a legend really um, age 36 he can definitely come in and do a job for us uh, still relatively fit and Landry Nguimo, I'm still toying over the possible use of this man um, it's a large wage to take on that's all When our highest wage is um, our right back, Luke Wilkshire, um, the Australian, um, on £23,000 a week. And below that is, uh, well, nearly half really, uh, you're already classy at £13,500. Um, so Luke Wilkshire, Wilkshire being the highest earner by some distance. Um, Landry and Guaymo. Do I or don't I? That is the question. Anyway, um, and I've also picked up Paul Montgomery, um, a sort of <sighs> landmark uh, pick up as our new chief scout, um, one that tends to to float around quite a lot actually on the football manager. Does Paul Montgomery? He's an extremely cheap and effective. Um, scout that can be deployed as a chief scout as well as a quite normal scout. Um, and Guaymo is slightly beyond the wage that I'm willing to pay. Um, I've sort of set myself up a, a wage cap of 20,000. 
Um, 19 to 50 is accepted. Uh, that's fine. More strength to add to the ranks. Um, I also went and had another look at the possibility of asking the board for a little bit more money, and um, I'm still unable to look at that uh, currently. Whether that's a um, a measure to stop people abusing it on a new save, just uh, checking if the board are willing to give any more money, and if not, uh, just scrapping that save and starting with a new team. So um, we'll see over time whether we are able to ask for a little bit more money because there is a bit in the bank um, finances if we check uh, we're projected to get a balance of 14.75 million at the end of the season um, last one 14 Valencia have made a Jordi Classy bid uh, 6.25 million is going to be straight away rejected, not even going to humour them and consider the bid. Uh, it's just going to be a rejection from me, to be honest. Um, a player who's who's definitely the most, well, possibly the brightest player in the squad currently. Um, come back to you next episode uh, with some updates, depending on, on how we are doing. Um, this has been Joe, and my first ever YouTube video uh, for Football Manager. Definitely not my first ever time playing Football Manager, um, but definitely the first video I've ever created uh, for others' eyes, uh, as well as my own. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Probably babbled quite a lot. Um, but get used to it, I suppose. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. If you can drop me a like, or um, any productive comments. I mean, I don't mind a bit of abuse, but uh, keep it clean, I suppose. And uh, good night. Cheers. Thank you very much.